Good morning, and welcome to St. Augustine's Catholic Church. Today being Wednesday, April 10th, the uh, church will be offered to the following. For the deceased, for Roberto Ronquillo, Norman Charles Robertson Jr., Felisa Banayad, Julieta Javeliana, Ezequiel de Castro, Jose Senor Guevara, Ferdinand Briones, Agrafina Chamiask, Bella Faja Alfajora, Adelina and Jacinto Licauco, Felipa and Macario Le Carlos, Margarita and Sancho Pineda, Joseph Bacolor and Kai Herba, or Cow Herba. Healing for the following, Imelda Santos and Regina Sagun. Thanksgiving goes for Flor, Florville Galvan and Joy Pellegrino. Special intentions for G, Gia and Raul Panello. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in an ending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison and let them out and said, go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and the companions arrived and convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers went and did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at the loss about them as to what this would have come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men, whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord hears the cry of the people. The Lord poor. hears the cry of the people. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord, and the lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the, cry the cry of the, of the poor. People. Glory the Lord with me, but let us together extol his name. I taught the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord Lord hears hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord Lord hears hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish but may have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict that the light came into the world. But people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does not wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. When Jesus started his ministry after his baptism and being driven to the desert to wrestle with the devil, his message was very clear. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. It was a powerful message. One wonders whether that was the core message. And in our gospel today, we actually understand that the core message goes beyond, but is connected to the beginning words of his ministry. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Here in his dialogue with Nicodemus, Jesus presents to us the core of his teaching. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but may have, may have eternal life. We hear that always, right? Something that sort of uh, reverberates no? in Scripture, in the liturgy of the Word, whenever we celebrate the Eucharist. But one question to ask, do we really understand these words? When the Lord sent, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand, he was actually talking about his love. His love expressed in mercy. Because when we humble ourselves before the Lord and seek his mercy, we realize no, how boundless the word who became flesh, Jesus himself, manifest that to us. The late theologian Garigou Langrange talked about this boundless love as an excess of love. An excess of love that tells us that, you know, one can love this much, but when we ever look at the cross, how much God loves us, he actually spread his arms, right? And that tells us it is not like this as measure, but it is limitless. How does that apply in our own Christian lives? Love should become selfless. 
You know, when, when a mother gives birth to a child, that is actually selfless love. Because a mother knows that to give birth is to take the risk of dying. In our daily lives, as we work, as we do our chores at home, as perhaps we serve the parish, the church, and do things not for ourselves but for others, this is an expression of selfless love. In a way, we follow the footsteps of Christ who said and who lived that truly God so loved the world that he gave his life so that everyone would receive eternal life. I hope each day of our lives we will not only understand the core message of the proclamation of Jesus, but we will take it to heart and live it each day, sinful as we are, because the mercy of God abounds forever. We present to the Lord our petitions as a Christian community, knowing how much God loves us. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the church may continue to be purified and sanctified through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ may reign in the hearts of civic and political leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are suffering the loss of loved ones may find comfort in the hope of eternal rest with the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of faith may grow in holiness and a spirit of thanksgiving through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Roberto Ronquillo, Norman Charles Robertson Jr., Felisa Bonayad, Julieta Avellana, Ezequiel de Castro, Jose Senor Guevara, Ferdinand Briones, Agrippina Chamiask, Bella Alpahore, Alpahora, Adelina and Jacinto de Cauco, Felipa and Macario Lecaros, Margarita and Sancho Pineda, Joseph Bacolor and Cao Herba. Those who have lived with Christ may be welcome in, into his heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear for special intention for the healing of Imelda Santos and Regina Sagun. For Thanksgiving, coming from Florville, Galvan, and Joy Pellegrino. And special intention coming from Gia and Raul Panello. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Loving Father, we are grateful for all the blessings you have bestowed on us in our lives. The blessing of love that was manifested and continues to be manifested in your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to bless us and our intentions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray now, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly totally right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, the bread to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Roberto Ronquillo, Norman Charles Robertson, Jr., Felisa Banayad, Julieta Javiliana, Ezequiel de Castro, Jose Senor Guevara, Ferdinand Briones, Agrifina Camias, Belia Alfajora, Adelina Nacinto Licauco, Felipa and Macario Licaros, Margarita and Sancho Pineda, Joseph Bacolor, Cao Herba. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O God, on our shores forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you always. Lamb of God, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, just some announcement. Let your friends and relatives know that St. Augustine Church has resumed the weekday afternoon Mass at 5.30 p.m., for late risers and working individuals, the afternoon Mass will be a convenient time for you to spend time with the Lord. Mass intentions are also offered at this Mass. And also come to the St. Augustine Children's Choir Concert on May 4th at 7 p.m. here in the church. General admission is $25, VIP tickets at $50, Children three years old and under are free and get your tickets from the parish office for, for Eleanor Grecia. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Dominion, how our life is hidden.